Next up is the heat test. Again, I am wearing goggles for this, turning the gas on. I'm gonna move this just so you can see a little better. Again, ionic number one. I'm gonna be putting some on the edge of this tiny little spatula and we'll kind of see what happens. And I'm gonna do this for about five seconds. And again, I apologize for it probably not zooming in. Um, some of it flicked off and made kind of a big mess. I know you can't see that on camera, but um, in five seconds, and I know it's hard to tell, nothing happened, but you could tell that it's still white. Nothing happened, it did not melt, it did not burn. Ionic number two. White. Again, putting it into the flame. About five seconds. I don't know if you can tell, and I apologize. I'm gonna to try to maybe do this. But um, it did melt together. Um, as you can see, I'm able to flip it upside down, but it did melt. All those pieces came together. And I'm gonna take it out so I can show you at the end of the video exactly what it looked like. Again, that was ionic number two. Covalent one. Covalent one caught on fire, and as you can tell from the black, burned. Burned. Covalent number two. I also smell kind of a, kind of like a, I don't know, it smells sweet. And then again, covalent two. Um, the piece I grabbed was a little too big and fell off, so I'm gonna grab some more, I'm sorry about that. Again, this is covalent two now. Starts out white. Oop. And you already can see that. Hopefully you did. Also burning. Also turning black. And that is the conclusion of the test. So Ionic 1 didn't do anything. Ionic 2 melted, made this block. Again, kind of just to show that it's um, one big piece, just gonna move it. And then covalent 1 and covalent 2